Uh huh, how are you? So I flew to my hometown. Turn about big top is popping into my head. You think he flew? Nintendo Capri Sun said to the judge as he was giving him a game over. Yes, it is. Whoa, I got false wipe. Exactly. Yeah, so it, I, I, I was calling Cedric Juniper's, um, can I call her Juniper? Is that her first name? I don't know, it's kind of confusing. Well, whatever. So, I was calling him her husband, but no, he's, a, he's her father. What, my national? Huh? But they, but they, they tell me different things, but they're both asking for my Pokedex. What? Uh, well, I can't even go west. Oh, here we go. I've already gone this path, actually, I think. Kind of. Maybe. Or maybe I was just planning to. Alright, so I found out that in Pokemon Black, the red Basculin are common. Oh, what is Mass Pevangelion doing? Oh, speaking of mass production of Angelion, I've uh, today I've been rewatching. I rewatched uh, the first half of the end of Evangelion, or in other words, episode twenty-five apostrophe. It's pretty. It's pretty good. I, I don't like it as much as other people, but it's pretty good.
one thing I love that Netflix has done lately is add a speed up and slow down feature. So, you, you know, you can speed up and slow down the video. Uh, however, you can only, you can slow it down to 0.5, but you can't speed it up to twice. You can only speed it up to 1.5, which sucks, but it's, it's better than nothing. I used to like hate that, that like, uh, I can't speed it up. I have to watch it at normal speed on Netflix. Uh, so, I mean, and like very recently they added this, you know, so you can speed up, but only to 1.5, like I said. So I wish they would let you speed up to t twice. Uh, that would be good. Although 1.5 times, well, <laughs> whatever. Like it's, it's not so bad. I mean, may maybe it's actually better, like, it allows you to go a bit faster, but still like take in pretty well what's going on. Maybe it's a good st strike. Maybe it strikes a good balance. Again, I hate how that how people always complain about that, like that first scene in the in the hospital and the, hosp the hospital scene i hate how people like overreact about that like uh i mean i just hate evangelion fans in general <laughs> i i don't want to associate with them in any way whatsoever no more browsing evangelion memes uh, uh the subreddit that is i used to do that I, I interact with the Evangelion fan base as little as possible. Makes me real angry when I do. Cause like they got something totally different out of it, is the thing. Uh, the backpacker I just talked to is uh, very correct. <laughs> uh, Route 717. Route 17. Beware of rapidly. Oh, it's this one. I was talking about this in the other video. It's kind of like. Uh, I wish I'd brought some more Pokemon or something. Uh, this is kind of like Hoenn, you know? Remember the. Yeah, they, they introduced that in Generation 3. You know, like the, the the rapidly flowing water or whatever they called it. I actually know the word for flowing in, in Japanese. It's, um, it's Ryu. I, I can spell it. I'm a weeaboo. It's time, it's time for some more weeaboo antics. No, fuck. Do you? Oh, what am I doing? Ah, oh, there's a red one. I don't know if anyone's missing a move though. Well, I guess Daedmon could benefit. Well, I don't know. Hyper Beam, mm, I've used it sometimes. I, I never use Synthesis. Uh, I never use Bounce. Fuck Bounce. I'm giving Rapidash Toxic or Attract. I It could take either, I suppose. Attract is really good. A really good move. Underrated. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> underrated, I guess I shouldn't say that, but... 
Uh, hmm, I don't know. I guess I pref mm. I don't know. Oh shit, it's Scald. That's cool. That's really cool. Scald is a good move. Uh, but I might not want to... Well, and Surf is an HM. Uh, X Scissor... Uh, wait, so what was the thing? False Swipe. Oh shit, P P Pinsir is able to learn it. But I'm not. I'm not teaching her it. Uh, I want her to have, be a good Pokemon for battle. I don't really care much about catching Pokemon. Just get, catch them with a quick ball. You know what I'm saying? Uh, What? Why is it different than this? Huh. It's different. What why why could that be? Is it a black and white difference? Is it a regional difference? The only explanation, I mean, like, you barely even get any results when you search it. The only explanation I can come up with is that someone fucked with the ROM. The person who distributed this ROM must have gone and edited that. That's the only explanation I can come up with. That's, if so, that that's a good prank, I suppose. Well, not really. Well, depends on what you mean. Well, so whatever. Uh... Yeah, so it's more of this stuff. Oh. Okay, so today, uh, today in school, I, f well, actually yesterday, but today it was like, you know, elaborated upon, uh, the next two weeks, um, I'm going to be doing online school, because of, um, well, um, or rather, well, not explicitly, but, well, I guess there was like some, something which the government decided it sounded like, I don't know, or that's like what my parents seem to be saying, well, anyway, you know, I live under a rock, so uh, that's, I suppose that's good, I, I, if that's a good strategy. Uh, I, I do not want to get coronavirus, that's for sure. Uh, so maybe this is good. Um... Hmm. 
so yeah, um, I've been like planning for like forever for like months. Like I've been telling myself I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into like a routine. Like I'm gonna go to school from nine to fifteen thirty every day. You know, you know Monday through Friday. That is. Um, I've been telling myself it's gonna happen. I've been trying, and it still hasn't happened. I was gonna this week. I failed this week. And I was gonna do it, you know, the next two weeks. But the miracle never happened. Because of because now it's online school. The miracle never happened. Well, I can still get into schedule with online school. Cause last time I was doing online school, I was like, I was like, you know, like going straight from bed to the computer at nine o'clock or later. Oftentimes later. <sighs> You know, I, I've been telling myself I'm gonna do it. Like, I, I fixed my sleep, at least for a day. Like, I slept from, like, I don't know, about 0.30 to 8.30 last night. So I hope I can repeat that tonight. Except earlier, uh, ideally. I'd be listening to Evangelion music. Yeah, you see, this is my... You know, I'm getting back into all this stuff. I'm, I'm getting back into Evangelion. I'm getting back into Lucky Star, perhaps. Well, at least with Kagami. I read uh, that negative review of Lucky Star. Uh, I reread it today, and like it, it made me drop the showdown from an eight to a seven. Like I figured, well, I mean, I have to like rewatch it before I, you know, I think I have to rewatch. <laughs> um, I mean, before I go too crazy with the score, you know, or or just whatever. I I, I just I, yeah, I, I change it from eight, an eight to a seven. Like, it, it's true that uh, Lucky Star is very, um, like, fail... very f unsuccessful with its comedy. It's That is very correct. I'm not sure that's much of a detriment, though. Maybe I'm just like... Like, I... Pretty much, I think I might just be retarded and I might be able to enjoy a, a show which totally fails at its comedy. I might be able to enjoy that anyway. You know, if it doesn't have its comedy, what does it have? And like, you might say, well, it has nothing. Well, I don't know. Does it have nothing left? Uh, if the comedy isn't there, I i mean, the person was complaining about the art of Lucky Star. I like the art of Lucky Star. I think it looks great. The music's good. You know, just whatever. I like. I might be able to enjoy it still. Uh, even well, I did last time. I sure did last time. I gave it a nine out of ten. Last like when I, when I was like right like after watching Lucky Star. Uh, although my ratings were quite wonky back then. I'm I I was giving them. I was giving anime way too high scores back then, or at least I was giving them a lot higher scores than I do now. You know, I gave Serial Experiments Elaine a 9. I've dropped that down to a 4. 
I, I, I'm stuck. I, I, there's nothing I can do. Uh, like, there's nothing, nowhere I can go here. What's weird also is that, like, whilst you're watching something for the first time, you feel, like, really positive about it. But then it kind of hits you that, nah, actually, it's not even, not that good at all. Like, this happened whilst I was watching Sailor Moon. Whilst I was watching Sailor Moon, I was like, holy shit, this is like a 9 out of 10. Or wait, is this a 10 out of 10? Can this be a 10 out of 10? Uh, and then, you know, now it's ended up as a 4 out of 10. Like, I, I just kind of realized afterwards that, nah, nah, it's, it stays as like a, I had like a 7 or something, I don't know. Uh, this also happened, like, actually more disproportionately when I was watching Kaguya Hime no Monogatari. Uh, I was like, holy oh, shit, this might be a, this might be a 10 out of 10. This might be a 10 out of 10, or, I don't know, something like that. This might be a 9 out of 10, I don't know. But then, you know, now it's, I've given it a 2 out of 10. And, like, I gave it a 3 out of 10, or maybe a 4 out of 10 at the time. Uh, I, have, I wrote a blog post, actually, right after I watched it, so you can just go check that out. I guess, like, with Kaguya Hime no Monogatari, it was more about, like, that my hope that it would turn out better than it actually did, you know? Like, it has potential. Of course. But... <laughs> things rarely meet their potential. Or, you know, like, your expectations, however you want to put it. Whatever. Uh, the point is, I... Well, I was listening to some Evangelion music today. I was listening to the Magma Diver versions and the... And the... Uh, th three of me, one of another, or whatever it's called. One of someone else. Uh, I was listening to those... All those versions again. And I was listening to Eva 02. And... And uh, that relaxing music from episode 10. Uh, stuff like that. Oh shit, it's an executes. This Pokemon is called Pinsir, right? Hmm. There's Heracross, which is kind of similar to Pinsir. Or at least feels kind of similar. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, no thanks. I, I suppose I could just look up what Pokemon that is, because I don't want to take it and then not raise it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a Larvesta. Larvesta? Which evolves into Volcarona. Volcarona isn't a legendary, is it? Volcarona kind of seems like a legendary. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Oh, it actually has Corona in its, vi in its name. Uh, except not spelled like that, but the name origin is Volcano and Corona.
The Sun Pokemon. Huh. Mm, two HM slaves. <laughs> if you use multiple Pokemon, does she change it to plural? It's the sage. It's one of the sages. It's one of the frickin' sages. I just feel like they use the same music on every route. Maybe that's not true though. It just kind of feels like it. I would hope I'd get to do battle with this guy, but eh, I can't get my hopes up. Especially a triple battle would be nice. It smells of the sea here. This place has the same ocean smell as where I was born. Getz has wandered the lands of this world all over, collecting knowledge of all kinds while searching for like-minded people. From the moment me wet, me wet. <laughs> uh, well, that, that's not very funny, but anyway, uh, he understood what I desired. The ability to understand the minds and the needs of others, this is an ability that everyone needs to survive. My Lord N is a kind and excellent person who understands the hearts of Pokemon, but conversely, perhaps his ability to understand the hearts and feelings of people is not developed enough. But even that was part of the perfection of Getz's plan. When it comes to Getz's, I cannot separate the truth from the lies. See this? I received this from I received it from Getz's, but I no longer need it. I hope you can put it to good use. Double team, really? Someday, if my Lord N develops the ability to understand the feelings of people as well as Pokemon, I would like to us I would like us to gather again. More than anything, I want to see N confront Getz's. Ah, and now about Team Plasma. I am an officer of the International Police, and there are so many things you must tell me at once. If that is what you desire. Many thanks. Now, Getz is notwithstanding, there yet remains but five of the seven sages still at large. What it is... Wait, so Getz is one of them? What it is they are thinking, what it may be they are hoping, this is the information I have need of. Quick and soon, say I. I've, I've wandered all around, I mean, I've only found one of them. Where are the f four, where are the five others? I'm not gonna find them. Am I gonna have to retread old ground to find them? That's what I would suspect, because I haven't found many. Oh shit, it's Waterfall. I actually just got Waterfall. And it's a TM? Is it TM? No, 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 HM. Frick. I'm about to ruin Dade Man's fucking moveset. Yeah, Hyper Beam isn't that good anyway. Yo! On a small rise of land, you and I face each other. On a small rise of land, what am I seeing? So many trainers I faced before. How many more trainers I can fight? I will cherish... I will cherish every battle. Uh, 
Uh, you speak weirdly. That don't make no sense. Well, maybe it does. Have you really battled that many people that they keep passing by and you've battled them before? Do like a lot of the same people come walking by here often? <coughs> hmm. All right, so there are two paths I can pick. Wait, was that a third? Oh. No, I can't go there. Okay, I've ended up here. Whoa, this music. A dubious disc. Hmm, let me let me let me search that up on the bulb pad. Oh yeah, uh, Porygon two to evolve into Porygon Z when traded while holding it. I say oh yeah as if I've like if as if I've ever heard of this item before, which I haven't. But uh, well, maybe I have a long time ago, but. Oh, it's whatever. I, I, I mean, I, I, I just thought. Well, okay, sure, makes sense. Uh. Oh, my lord, N apparently rejected my research. My, but my research is necessary for Team Plasma to reach its goal. The strongest Pokemon. The rest of the memo is torn and impossible to read. What did you say? Team. Plasma, my strong, uh, the the strongest Pokemon. Okay, who could that be? Mewtwo. <laughs> I don't know. Arceus, I suppose. Okay, where do I go now? I I can pick a lot of spots. Or no, I can't. Oh! Uh, that, I think, was a misstep. A grave misstep. Fuck these encounters. Oh my god! Is there any other game that has as many encounters as black and white? I feel like they really increased it, this generation. I mean, seriously. I take one step, you know? not so good.
I I don't know. I I guess I I guess I give up. Maybe there really is no path to the other side. Oh, like around here. Alright, so I, like, uh, okay, so there's one thing I'm thinking of, and that is uh, the part in, uh, well, next to, uh, east of Nimbasa City, where there's a waterfall. Let's go there again. I've already taken that item to find that cut tree, that's good. Holy shit, it's a venipede. Okay, now I've uh, gone uh, the wrong uh, way. Uh, yep, but uh, water is uh, right here. Was that seriously it? A rare candy? A rare candy.
All right, so I mean, I'm like, I there's nothing left, pretty much. Like, I, I just kind of don't want to play this game. <laughs> uh, suppose I don't have to. Uh, but I feel like I have to. I, how do I get to Anvil Town? I could try retreading the the ground and see if I can find a find a sage that way. Let me go back to that list of things to do in Pokemon White post game. Maybe I can fly there. Oh, maybe that's it. That would make sense. Oh no. Nah, come on. Give me back. What? I thought there was a way to get back quicker than, like, earlier than that. Hmm, so... Alright, where can I get a plane ticket? I hate vegetables. <laughs> I was eating vegetables for dinner... Uh, ...this evening. I hated it. I couldn't finish it. I mean, well, I didn't put the shit on the plate, but, you know. Uh, you know, I ate all the s sweet potatoes. Uh, all the sweet potato I had uh, put... Uh, well, I hadn't put that either on my plate, but I finished it all. All the sweet potato. Uh, and... But I didn't finish the... Whatever you would call it. I'm not sure what it would you, what you would call it in in English. Huh. It's um cabbage. I, I I guess I guess it's cabbage. I didn't finish the cabbage. You know, there's it's steak every Friday. I hate steak. I fucking hate steak. I, I haven't found anyone else who hates steak more than I do. Uh, I, I, you know, I try to Google it. Try to find someone who agrees with me. And, like, some people hate steak, I suppose. Uh, now, this guy is... Yes, okay, so there's like one person who hates, also hates steak. So fucking glad I'm not gonna have to eat that shit anymore when I'm vegan. I fucking hate steak. Alright, give me a plane ticket. Well, I guess I can't fly to Anvil. I could take a quick, you know, tour through, like, I could retread old ground. I mean, I didn't find the fi the sage on new ground, on old, on old ground. I found him on new ground. No, not new grounds. I found him on new ground. Hmm. Accumula Town. Huh. Maybe I use Rotom Wash a bit more, huh? Hold on. 
Which ones are like highest level? Well, none of them pretty much, but... Well... Daedmon is lower level. Or higher level than Rotom Wash. Uh, who else was there on my team? Sunflora? I don't care. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose... Well, no. Uh, let's just go. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I could try to find another, you know, one of the sages. Or right, let me go look at that, uh, that webs, you know, the, the Pokemon DB.net again. Uh, post game of Pokemon Black and White. Find the seven sages. Explore the three new routes to the east of Unova. What are you? Oh yeah, I did actually. Check out Black City and White Forest. What's Black City? I did check out White Forest, but what's Black City? I guess I should just Google it instead of looking all around the map. Uh, Black, Black City Pokemon. Is there a White City? Well, I guess White Forest and then Black City. Oh, Black City is exclusive to Pokemon Black. And Pokemon Black too. Well, it looks pretty cool. So anyway, uh... Rematch the Elite Four, this time with the actual champion. Oh shit. Uh, catch Cobalion, Terrakion, Virizion, Curum, and the Roaming Legendary. Yeah, I found Cobalion. I, I found Curum. I don't know how I'm gonna find the Roaming Legendary, Terrakion, and Virizion. Catch Landorus, I don't know how. Catch Zen Mode Darmanitan. Of course, I could just Google how to do these things. Catch Volcarona. I don't think you need to catch Volcarona. I think you just need to get that egg and raise it. Oh, but there's one in Relic Castle. What's Relic Castle? Huh. Huh. Have I ever been there? Oh yeah, it's- oh yeah, I remember. You know, fuck this shit. I think I'm just gonna straight up quit. Catch Musharna with the Dream World ability. What? Dream World ab uh... Huh? As in, what, telepathy? I don't know, man. Receive the fossils in Twist Mountain. What is Twist Mount? Oh, receive the fossils? As in, oh, the fossil Pokemon of this generation? I don't know what those are. I, well, I, maybe it's Archaeops. Or Arkham, I guess the first one is called. Maybe. Yeah, I think so, actually. Yeah. Maybe there's like that water turtle is the other one. Twist Mountain. I've been to Twist Mountain. But I, uh, huh, I... Okay, so you can get... A bunch of fossil... Huh. What is this? You can get the Generation 4 
ones, and you can get the Generation 1 ones, and you can get... Uh, one per day selected randomly. Old Amber and Root Fossil. Aerodactyl. Okay, so Old Amber is... Okay, so that was in Generation 1, and it can be regenerated into Aerodactyl. I had no idea. Uh, Aerodactyl. Can't you catch him in Generation 2? No, that's just because I've been playing the randomizer. Yeah. Oh, we can trade Chansey on Route 14 to get uh, Aerodactyl and Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, in Generation 1, you have to revive uh, Aerodactyl from the old Amber at the Pokemon Lab on Cinnabar Island. Uh, where do you get the old Amber in Generation 1? Pewter Museum of Science. Received from a scientist inside the back room of the museum. Requires cut. Root Fossil, Claw Fossil, Lilip, and Anorith. Yeah, so these were the ones in Generation 3. I'm not a big fan of fossil Pokemon. But aren't there Generation 5 fossils though? No, there. Wait, yes, there are. Or, hmm. Cover and plume. Looks like they made four fossils in Generation 8. Very confusing. These are. Very, very confusing. There's so many of them. That's so confusing, what they did in Generation 8. I, I cannot understand this. Uh, okay, so whatever. Uh, so the cover and the plume. Tirtoga and Arken. Yes, yeah, so it's not Arkham, it's Arken. Yeah. So, yeah. Alright, so that's what it is. But where do you get those? Choose one in black and white, and you get a second choice. A choice of either one is also offered in Nacreen City after defeating the Elite Four in uh, black two and white two. So anyway, you get them in this game by uh, in a relic castle. Uh, you get a choice. Anyway, uh, I'm not getting that. So buy a Magikarp. Yeah, I just I went by the vendor. I'm not gonna buy that. Receive the Larvesta egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, trade for Rotom and Munchlax. I traded for Rotom. I'm not huh, Munchlax. I haven't stumbled upon that. Uh, beat Cynthia and Morimoto. I did beat Cynthia. Morimoto. I don't know who that is. So what are you talking about? It's a game designer. Morimoto Shigeki. Oh. Game Freak Morimoto is in... 
Generation 5, Game Freak is a type of Pokemon trainer that debuted in the Generation 5 games. Huh. Alright. There's a dog outside. I hate dogs. <laughs> Alright, so... Where do you find... Castelia City. Oh, Castelia City. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. Battle Charon and Bianca. Where? I can do that? I want to do that. Check out the Abyssal Ruins. Yeah, I did. I spent a lot of time on there. Uh, complete the Battle Subway and Battle Institute. Oh shit, I've seen that. Looks kinda cool. Well, not really. I'd rather not, uh, actually. It seems like you get a fuck ton of battles. A set of Pokemon randomly drawn from their roster. What? No legendaries allowed? Really? See, so yeah, the gear station. I've seen, like, pictures of this. Battle Institute. Is a is an facility. An facility. I need to edit this wiki this page just real quick here. Un facility. is a facility for the player to participate in mock battles. Hmm. There's one battle institute in each of the Unova, Kalos, and Hoenn regions. Oh, I wasn't introduced in, what, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire? Like, you know, th then they added it to Hoenn, yeah. In Generation 5, the battle institute is located in Nimbasa City. Okay. The trainers met here are the same ones found in the Battle Subway and Battle My Son. The player can opt to fight five consecutive battles. Okay, whatever. Uh, what is the Battle My Son? French for house. Oh, oh, it's uh, it's in X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So the trainers are really the same across generations. Take a ride on the magnificent Royal Yanova. Is a ferry that sails in the Yanova region. The ship sets sail every day from Castelia City, the cruise dock. It sets sail in the evening, which starts when day begins visually fading into night and ends when daylight is completely gone. It can be traveled on after obtaining the National Pokedex, or as soon as the player arrives at Castelia City in Black 2Y2. The player can only sail the ship once per day. Taking a ride on the ship costs a thousand poke dollars. The ship leaves Castelia City and journeys up Yanova's eastern river, passing the Skyro... Okay, whatever. Um. All right. 
do Pokemon musicals. Like Pokemon contests, Pokemon Super Contests, and Pokeathlon from previous games, this feature provides trainers with an alternative to battling. Okay. Men, girls, women, boys, target audiences. All right. Utilize the Poke Transfer. Mm, eh. All right. So pretty much like if we just like take the stuff that I actually want to do. Uh, it's I want to battle Charon and Bianca and uh, Morimoto and maybe one of the other Game Freak ones I saw there were others and that's like pretty much it I don't have time today like to make this video too long well actually I do uh, I could just play for another hour actually uh, like, I, I don't have to upload this today, I can upload it tomorrow. I have, it's the weekend tomorrow. Uh, I can just upload it while I'm make while I'm baking a cake with my father. That's what we're planning to do. Well, not that it even takes long or anything, like I was just saying. Uh, uh hmm. These are but a few of the many things you can do. It really is quite amazing. All the after the main game stuff they have. No, so, in other words, post game. <laughs> well, even then, I mean, battling the Elite Four again should probably take a while. Um, so I don't know if I can get it all done today. I don't even need to really. I can just make two videos tomorrow if I really want to get started on like Kaizo Caverns or whatever. If I want to do that, which I might want to do. I don't know though. I don't know how I'd feel about it, you know, playing that again. I mean, like, I could try looking up for the seven sages, but I'm not going to find them. You know, is he up here? Where could he be? I, I, frick. I mean, I ain't finding him. I ain't finding any of the other sages in this town, it seems. I mean, come on. Is he down here? Is he in here? Let's fly to the big city. Well, actually, hold on. Let me just, like, check how to battle Charon. Victory Road. Post-game rematches. That's what I want. Yeah. Alright, so I go to Victory Road. I don't know who I want to battle first, though. I mean, if I'm going to Victory Road to do the champ, like, you know... Elite f battle the elite foreign champion. Uh, then I'll do that last, I suppose. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll start with uh, the game freak guys. I suppose I could switch out Sunflora. I mean, I've used Sunflora already. Yeah, so at this point, I, I think I'd rather use Jumpluff, actually. So that's that's a nice way of solving the Jumpluff Rotom conflict. Just switch out Sunflora.
What a nice team, eh? Still don't know why it's called Eeks. I never use substitute. I could like uh, give this give this fellow another move. If it can even learn the others, it can learn Shadow Ball. That's cool. No, I wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, 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 no. That's great. That's great. That's better than Hex. Okay, but can I give it a fourth move? Mm, it can't learn track. I mean, it it's genderless. Uh, how about energy ball? Nope. Oh, uh, jump Luff can. How about jump Luff's move set? Is it good? Oh yeah, I already doctored it. Oh shit, uh, Scald. Well, no, 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 I already have a Hydro Pump. Fuck it. Uh, just let it use Hydro Pump. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I could just give it Toxic. That'd be good. Toxic is good. Whatever. Mm. Not that it's going to be a triple battle or anything. <sighs> I wish it were, though. All right, so let's go find this Morimoto guy, wherever he, wherever he is. It's a big, big city. I could look like I, I guess. Hmm, I don't know where Game Freak is. God damn it! I let me see here. Morimoto, can I just like? Game Freak has its own building in Castellia City in Pokemon Black and White. Where a character representing Morimoto Shigeki can be battled after stopping Team Plasma. Okay, what about Nishino? Oh, uh, Nishino is only in Black 2 and White 2. Yeah, he does look kind of like a hiker. So, hmm, let's just find that building. I don't know where it is. Let's just fucking find it. It should say on the outside. I would think it would say it on the outside. Face Sonata. That sounds pretty cool. Have I been here? That's true.
Right. Get me something. Okay, but I can't have no beverage, but that's okay. So yeah, this morning, like, I, I couldn't... I, I woke up at 7, but, like, I went back to bed. I couldn't get out of bed at 7. Uh, I slept till, like, 8, 8.20 or so. And, um... Like, then I stayed in bed for, like, another two hours. And then I got out of bed and, like, I sat on the computer for a while. Not two hours, but, well, kind of. About two, well, kind of, pretty much. Or it was more like an hour and a half, and then I was on the computer for half an hour, something like that. Uh, and then I, I got, like, really angry. I was really angry. And, like, I was, like, f resentfully getting ready for school. Like, I was, like, being very, like... I, I thought to myself... It seems I can only get sh get stuff done in like short bursts of energy. I can't just like do it slowly and relaxed. I have to do it like super quickly. I have to run into the bathroom and I have to like like just like my hair in the shower like I have to I don't know what to say like rub it vigorously I guess. Hmm. Let's say the 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 an, the unsocial person I am, the introvert I am, I suppose you could say I, I could just sit over here instead, but oh, this is a video game. Maybe this guy wants to hear what I have to say. Oh yeah, and I was, like, angrily making breakfast. I mean, I didn't really have any reason to be angry. Well, I guess I did, because I didn't get out of bed for a long time. I guess, like, angry at my parents, I don't know. Uh, but I was, like, angrily getting ready for school. Do, 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 no. I just thought of something. Uh, if I do Minecraft videos again, those are going to be 1080p. That's going to take such a long time to render. I'm not going to be able to do long videos anymore. Or, I mean, if I am, like, it's going to be, like, horrible, like, rendering them. Ugh. It's gonna be horrible, I tell you. So... <sighs> mm. Oh, and when I got to school, I... Like, there was like... About like 20, 20, 25 minutes left of psychology class, but I didn't want to go there because I had social anxiety. And then PE class, like the teacher was like rumored to be sick, but like no one could get into contact with her. So yeah, there was no PE class. It's pretty annoying when you get dressed for PE. And like, I, you know, like, I... 
just never mind. Or, you know, you know, I've already told you about this before, you know, like, make sure I don't have to go to the bathroom during the class. And then for it all to be for nothing. Because there is there is no class anyway. Like, I suspected that there was going to be no class, but you don't know that for sure. So you have to go through these things. Get ready. And then when there is no class, you just have to fucking change back into your regular clothes. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't get much done today in school. I just read some psychology and read some PE, but barely any. I, I don't have to tell you everything, what happened in school. That's just kind of, I'm kind of exhausted. Uh, I don't want to tell you every detail. I, well, I can tell you this at least. It was, um... Like, pretty much what I was thinking of was just, like, someone, someone was, you know, ringing the door, and, like, I, I didn't want to go answer, and then they ring, ring the, uh, you know, the bell again, and I went and answered it, and then we had a little conversation. Uh, it was the, um, it was like a, like a, whatever you would call it. Counselor. Whatever, uh, I don't need to tell you every detail. Uh, it was raining, it was raining quite, uh, when I was... It was raining quite heavily when I was, or, eh. It was raining when I, when I was going home from school. And also, you know, because of this, because of, I'm going to be doing online school the next couple, next couple of weeks. And I had to bring my stuff home. And, I mean, I was given a bag, but I didn't want to use it. So, I stuffed everything into my backpack. You know, I thought it would be most convenient if I could just stuff it all into my backpack. And I think I have room. And I barely had room. I barely had room. Like, the backpack was still... You know, the zipper was still a little open. That was how packed my bag was. Like, it was, like, filled, filled to the brim. And it was so fucking heavy. It hurt. Uh, it was so, so, so heavy. It was such a relief to get on the public transport so I could, you know, take it off and put it beside me. And then I had to pick it up back up again, you know, when I'm going to another another public transport and then I get to put it down and then I get off that one and I have to put it back on and on the way home. Yeah, it, it hurts. Uh, and I drank a uh, cup of tea. I don't know if I told you, but um, the, I, I have a tea calendar, uh, one, a, a type of tea, you know, like a tube with, or whatever you call it, like, there's some tea, like a, 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 a type of tea uh, every day uh, and until the uh, 24th, like, you know, December 1st through December 24th. And uh, the tea today was, like, extremely disgusting. It had, like, um, it was green tea with... Lemongrass. I guess it's called uh, a mandarin orange. There's mandarin orange in there as well, and uh, mint. And it was like the most disgusting tea I've ever drunk. It was so extremely disgusting. It was so difficult to drink. Smelling it was like painful. Anyway, uh, and then I did a uh, calendar. I designed the calendar for this year or for next year, 2021. Uh, you know, my my family has does this calendar thing where we take 12 pictures, 
and you know put them in the calendar so I, I did that so I didn't design it exactly I mean I put it all together and you know, I, I manufactured it you could say or whatever and I put everyone's name like the birthday names on the days uh, of the year uh, and I was like really perfectionistic about it trying to size everything right it was like I felt like horrible about that how perfectionistic I'm being you know I was googling about that the other day when I was like make deciding on my uh, profile picture I have a Kagami profile picture now I've put it on every website <clears throat> Uh, and um, oh, whatever I, I feel too perfectionistic sometimes I also noticed that my seemingly my grandpa had sized around the like f moved around the text of the previous calendar so I'm asking him about that now uh, just like I wonder what what went on there because like I spend a lot of time on the text so if you're gonna move it around then it doesn't really matter like then all my like effort went to waste anyway let's go find that uh, uh, Morimoto uh, let's let's do some weeaboo stuff again here Yeah, I'm definitely not getting done with this today. I shouldn't even try, you know, like with this, like rushing it. Like, do I really think it's going to be that easy? Well, I mean, I guess sometimes it is. Here we go. Game Freak. I figured it'd be here, but I don't know. I just like didn't go with my gut. I figured it'd be here. Well, maybe like approximately here. Haven't I been here before? I and mean, what are these guys talking about? Yeah. So is that him? <laughs> awesome. Full team, what level are they going to be? 75! Oh my god! That's even higher than Cynthia! What the frick? Okay. Leap part is dark type, I believe. I should have taught... Should have taught it Volt Switch. I've even PP boosted it. Nice. Uh, 
I guess I should've used Jump Pluff. Well, now I can use Jump Luff, Daedman, Jump Luff, Daedman the Jump Luff. It's a pretty nice cry there, Jump Luff has. He's not gonna use a potion, is he? Oh, come on! Cheater! I'm gonna leech seed you. Nah, that's not necessary. Okay, what type is Swoobat? I would guess, like, Dark Flying? No, Psychic Flying. Psychic Flying. Huh. I don't know when I should go to sleep. I, sh I guess I could try now. Try to go to sleep now. I guess that would be best. I don't know what just happened. Aver the second died somehow. Oh. Well, you are the strongest out of the NPCs, kind of, it seems. Sure, it's a good item. I can uh, tell you to take... I can tell you to take this sound seriously. Yeah, I do, actually. Hell yeah, that's from Generation 2. Indeed, I've done it.
Okay, I'll continue uh, this later, I guess. I mean, huh. Uh, I suppose I could end the video here. Uh, maybe I should try to go to sleep now. I mean, I guess there's like nothing like, that's like, that says like for sure that I wouldn't be able to fall asleep now. I guess I should try. So goodbye.